Here's something passengers never notice. At takeoff speed, the pilots are not steering with the nose wheel anymore. At low speed, the aircraft really does turn using the nose wheel. That's the tiller next to the captain's seat. But once the takeoff roll begins, something changes. Above roughly 60 knots, the nose wheel becomes almost useless. As speed builds, airflow over the tail increases. The rudder wakes up, suddenly becoming far more powerful than the wheel touching the ground. From this point on, pilots steer straight down the runway using rudder pedals, not the nose wheel. And this switch is crucial, and a nose wheel cannot correct big side loads at high speed. The rudder can, uh, instantly. So, if there's a gust of crosswind or asymmetrical thrust, the rudder keeps the aircraft tracking straight for a stable, safe liftoff. So the moment the runway flashes by quicker, the steering quietly shifts from a wheel on the ground to a fin in the air. It's one of those hidden transitions that happens on every takeoff, but most passengers never feel it. 